My name is Chase Ross. I think I am a pretty normal guy, but I just do things a bit different than others. When I was born there was a lack of oxygen to my brain. This caused damage to some parts of my brain, and I have cerebral palsy. This impacts my motor skills like walking and talking. However, I can do both well with assistive devices or equipment. Although I may do things a bit differently than others, I live my life like everyone else. As a child, um, Chase is, and still is, he's always been like, wanted to be the center of attention. Kind of a ham anytime there was anything with um, therapy or school event, he would volunteer. It was hard growing up with a disability, but with the help of my parents and family, I always felt like I was a normal kid. I really wished I could have been out on the field. After Chase realized like that he wasn't going to be able to play in the same way that he wanted to, um, he's kind of channeled that energy into trying to give the kids some perspective on, you know, I'm still out here even though I can't be out there. I'm coming every day. I met Coach McDaniel in 2017 when I was at the University of Florida. I was just looking for an internship to gain experience and to graduate. Back then I never thought that our relationship could turn into such a huge part of my life, but it did. Not only do we text about the X's and O's of the game, but I can talk with him about life. He's a great man and an awesome mentor. At first, it was I was a little bit awkward, and I wasn't quite sure, you know, how we would interact, and uh, you know what I what I could have him do, and things like that. But over the course of time, you know, he's just a guy, right? And you you come to realize that that as a uh, as a coach, he's here every day. Um, he's dedicated. Um, he loves to be around the kids. Uh, doesn't matter the sport. Uh, he likes to be out there. His greatest value is that interaction with those people, right? That get out amongst the kids, get out amongst the, the people in general so they can see you and you can sort of serve them with your energy. If everybody I work with had the same dedication and enthusiasm he had for the things that we do, we'd all be okay. Most of the time the winning and losing is not the most important part. It's the relationship with the kids and watching the kids grow up and gain confidence and learn dedication and work ethic. When I'm not working or coaching, I like to watch sports on TV and in person. I've been able to travel the United States to see games at 20 Major League Baseball stadiums. My goal is to see games at all of them. However, now I guess I will have to ask my boss for some time <clears throat> off to get the last 10 stadiums off my bucket list. So we started talking to the YMCA about being just that, being a motivation for the kids, as well as starting to coach and then starting to do some admin type of work. Working with Tony and Scott at Employee has been amazing. Back when I first met Scott in November of 2020, I was in a bad moment in my life, but he helped me find the on the job training at the YMCA. He started to understand what he could do for the YMCA. And, and when we would sit there at, at the little desk that he worked at, it was awesome to see him coming out of his shell and just his happiness to see him actually get in a role that made sense for the organization was priceless. The special moment that stands out to me is the day that I walked into the Youth and Teen Center, the first day that I visited Chase doing what he's doing. And the joy that he had when I walked in was indescribable. My job at the center is great. We're really growing the program and we have awesome people here who are excited to positively impact the youth of Gainesville. We just need to fix our biggest need, transportation. After I send out the outreach emails, I work with our lead staff to plan the weekly schedule while we wait for our students to arrive. I help Mr. Rollins and the staff engage our students in discussions during planned activities. Some of the talks we get into around the center focus on self-awareness, affirmations and weekly check-ins. These conversations and check-ins really help set the tone for learning. I like working here at the center because it feels like a big family that cares about everybody. 
I've seen students grow that didn't want to talk to anybody when they first came to being so open and friendly, chatting with everybody. I think it is because everyone at the center cares for each other and loves what they are doing for the youth of the community. I'd say my favorite part of the job is the relationships that we have built. Since starting in late September, the family feel is real. The goals I have for the center is to see it grow in numbers, more students and staff. It's wonderful to see how engaged he is with them in their actual personal development. Um, it's rewarding and it's also an eye-opener because they're able to actually interact with someone that society views a little bit different and he's so open with them understanding how he communicates, you know, and how he travels around with us when we go from one place to another. The students love him, they embrace him, they, they treat Chase just like he's somebody who's been part of their lives for a while, uh, quite some time. The way that Chase fits into the culture of the YMCA is through our mission. Our mission is to put Christian principles into practice through programs that help build spirit, mind, and body for all. And for us, the emphasis is on for all. We believe that love is the driving force that creates that culture, and it's for all individuals. Motivate You of North Central Florida, we are a nonprofit organization. We provide training programs for agencies that serve the youth. We work with schools, after schools, and recreation programs, churches, basically any place where their youth motivate you seeks to, seeks to align with those programs. We provide training programs that help to affirm the greatness of each individual through our message. Our message is you are important. And it's through that message that we believe that we affirm the greatness of each individual. And it aligns perfectly with what the wise mission is when they say for all. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you've done in the past, you still have value. And so Motivate You helps to, the individuals to find their value. Each individual has been placed here with purpose. And many times I think we don't give people an opportunity to operate in their purpose because we put limitations on them. But their purpose is seated inside of them and the limitations are only there if we allow them to remain there. But working and partnering with organizations like Employee You we give each opportunity, each individual opportunity to manifest his or her greatness. Working with young people is important to me because I want to teach the next generation more about people with disabilities. Sharing that all people have dreams like they do, we all have goals no matter our differences. Over the last few years, we have seen a lot of hate in the news, but I want to bring awareness to our youth that there is a lot of love out there and there are good people in the world. Through my example and sharing with others I hope to help students to be open to meeting people of all abilities or perspectives. If the next few decades are as good as days like today, it wouldn't be too bad a life for me.